How do crypto wallets work? A crypto wallet is a piece of software that lets you store, send, and receive cryptocurrency. It does this by essentially being a tool that allows you to interact with a blockchain network. Every single wallet consists of a public address, which you can share to send or receive cryptocurrency and a private key which of course must be kept safe. Some people think that the actual cryptocurrency is stored in these wallets, but in reality, the currencies do not exist anywhere in physical form. There are simply records of transactions and these are stored on the blockchain. Every singular crypto wallet has two types of keys, a public one and a private one. The public key allows you to receive funds and it can be found on the ledger. The private key is kind of like your signature and is used as proof of transactions. It should never be shared. So what kind of crypto wallets are there? Well, there are three main types of crypto wallets. Software wallets, hardware wallets, and paper wallets. Let's start with the most common ones. Software wallets are also called hot wallets. These kinds of hot wallets are always connected to the internet. They are usually very easy to set up and the funds are always accessible, which makes them convenient for traders who need regular access to their funds. They are also ideal for users who are storing small amounts of funds for a short period. Software wallets are nowhere near as secure as hardware wallets, which in turn are called cold wallets. Software wallets are divided into three more categories. There are web wallets, desktop wallets, and mobile wallets. Let's start with web wallets. They typically store the private key with the third party that is providing the wallet. There is no need to install anything or download any programs. Some web-based wallets also allow the users to add a further layer of security to the wallet by adding their own password or 2FA. This is a good thing to have, but web-based wallets still remain one of the lowest quality wallets in terms of security, since they are continuously connected to the internet and thus susceptible to hacks or attacks. They are suited for people who are handling small amounts of currency, who value convenience above security. Next are desktop wallets. These are softwares that you would need to download and store on your own computer. You will have full control over your keys, which are typically stored on your hard drive, which is more secure than the previously mentioned web wallets. The problem with desktop wallets is if your device gets compromised. This means there is a serious risk of your funds being lost. Storing private keys on cloud-based storage is also not recommended since this might make them accessible to third parties. Lastly, we have mobile wallets. These types of hot wallets offer benefits in terms of functionality and convenience, however, offer very little in terms of security since nowadays most mobile devices are connected to the internet. These apps normally work similarly to their desktop counterparts. The only difference is that they were specifically designed to be be as convenient as possible for people who like storing their currency on their phone and for those who spend cryptocurrency in the real world on a daily basis. Let's take a look at hardware wallets now. While it is not advice to keep a large amount of funds in software wallets because of their constant connection to the internet, the same cannot be said for hardware wallets. These are physical devices that use a random number generator to provide the user with both public and private keys. Because they are not connected to the internet, they are called cold wallets, and they are the most viable option for users who are storing large amounts of cryptocurrency for a long period. They offer a very high level of security with multiple levels of encryption. Some of them look like a pen drive, some like a calculator, and some like credit cards. The concept stays the same no matter the look. Keep your funds as safe as possible away from the internet where hackers can potentially steal your information and funds. Private keys are stored on the device itself, but you will also be asked to create a pin for yourself in case the device is stolen. The last type of wallets are paper wallets. These are exactly what they sound like. It is a physical print of your public and private keys. We hope we have helped you understand the types of wallets available and how they work. We have a full guide up on Cryptome.com for you to read, along with countless other guides ready to kickstart your crypto and blockchain journey. If our explanation has helped you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next video.